Tizzy in the building. What's going on, little lady? How you feel? I'm just feeling all right. All right, all right. I I appreciate you uh, coming on to the show and uh, chopping it up with you. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself as, and, and and tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, you know, what do you do? We we know that. Let you guys know that she's not a truck driver. She's uh, what what do you call it? Uh, ride share driver, Uber Uber Eats driver. Yeah. I'm a DoorDash. I'm a DoorDash driver. Oh, okay. You're um, a DoorDasher. So, okay. Yeah. So my name's Tizzy Baez, as you said. Um, pretty much um, how I came about of deciding to do DoorDash driving was just for extra cash. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I had some experiences while doing DoorDash. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we'll, we'll get in. We'll, we'll get into all that in a minute. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um. So where where are you from? I'm actually from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. You up in it? See there? No, I see. I can't. I can't mess with y'all. Uh-uh. I can't mess with y'all. I'm a truck driver, and and going up in the Northeast is not my favorite thing to do when it when it comes to truck driving. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so you're from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, your phone number is it's a New York number. It's- so are you in New York now? No, I'm not in New York. Oh, well, I'm not in New York right now. Um, it was uh, pro- I had this number for probably like five, six, seven years mm-hmm. already. Um, I was out there for a couple months, and it was just for um, business purposes. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I just end up deciding. I just end up deciding to end up keeping it. So oh, okay. like, whatever. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you, so you being from Boston, Massachusetts, you 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 was born and raised up there. <laughs> Yes, I am. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, all right. So, uh, DoorDash. How you know with 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 all this ride share thing? Because you know I did Uber back in the day when it first came out. Uh, yeah, I got some stories for you on that. But uh, but now being that everything is so mainstream now, like you can you can have somebody to actually go shopping for somebody. <laughs> And 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 you guys, you know, can make extra money. So with this DoorDash, I'm beginning to see a whole bunch of commercials for it now too. So is it is it true uh, what they say about DoorDash that you can, you know, you can make this buku kinds of money and all like that? Is that true? All right. So it all depends because I've gotten like I don't know if you kind of look through my. Um, my TikTok, um, cause that's where I had posted one of my videos. Um, I'm actually a comedian and a lot of my videos revolve around like weirdos that I had came across by mm-hmm. <laughs> through DoorDash. And honestly, like it's not what it is. It can be, it's just weird because it just varies. Like I had, um, so when you approve a, a grocery list, for instance, you don't see how many um, how many items are in the grocery list. So say it would be like I one time I had a four dollar trip, and they whoa, had two hundred and ten. Whoa, whoa, wait! Yep. A four yes. dollar tr- four U.S. dollars. Yes. Trip. Mm-hmm. So, so fuel, so like, fuel up not- in the oh, hold on, fuel up in the <laughs> yeah. Northeast is crazy. Is like. Fuel is like what at uh, you up in the northeast, so fuel gotta be like what about three fifty, three seventy five a pop. Yeah, like about yeah, like around there. And and they sent you a four dollar trip. Are you, you you can't be serious right now? <laughs> All right, DoorDash, no, no, no. DoorDash, do that. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm listening. So there's a video. There's a video that I, that's actually on my TikTok that I pretty much is talking about me complaining about the trip. I didn't have to approve the trip, okay. um, but I don't. So like they do the pick. Like we do the pickup line. So like when we drive to the pickup, they bring us the groceries. We don't have to go grocery shopping. Okay. Um, which is okay. Whatever. Um, now we don't. We're not able to see the items before approving it so right. when i had proved it i was like okay whatever let me just take the drive i don't have a big deal about it and it I was would. 210 that's, that's only that's only was, like a quarter that that's only like a quarter 
profit, considering the fact that you got to put the, you know, put the three dollars and seventy five cent in the gas. Imitate, yeah, I know, I feel you. But like, you know, there was two, so it was two orders in one. My first order was seven dollars, oh, okay. and since I was already in the area, there was another order that had came through uh, for four dollars. Oh, so I was like, okay, okay so it. it's 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 an add up type. Oh, okay, I I feel you. I feel still <laughs> ugly, but yeah, I, but I see what you're doing. I see what you did. Yes, but adding up for 210 items and, you know, that video got almost a half a million views mm -hmm. on TikTok. And I'm just like, the reason why I was complaining about it is because uh, they wanted me to deliver it to the eighth floor and that there was no elevator. So what uh, I end up doing, they're not paying me enough. $4 is not enough for me to carry up all your groceries. Right. Upstairs. I left it downstairs. I left it downstairs. I texted the person. I was like, hey, listen, your groceries downstairs. She wanted me to bring it upstairs. I'm like, I'm no, I'm no. not bringing it upstairs. So I'm like, this is a contact list. You know, everybody was kind of arguing with me over TikTok. Everybody was like, what about they were disabled? What about they were this? What about they were that? I'm like, on the description, it would have specifically said, you know, hey, you know, this person is disabled. You know, like it, it would have been like a brief description about it. Then I would right. understand. I right. would have never brought it upstairs on a floor because, you know, you're not paying me enough. And plus, it's like, it's a for me, it's a safety hazard, as you can see when I got hit. You know, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about that particular video in a minute because that's that's the video that, yeah. that caught my eye. Um, all right, are, you you don't have no you you're not talking to me through Bluetooth, are you? I I, I want just no. To, okay, cool. I just want to make sure that your audio comes clear uh, comes through clear. Um, all right, like uh, I actually have you on speaker, but if you can't really hear me like that, I can actually take it off speaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate it because I can hear the reverb. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. There you go. Good. All right. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so the 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 four dollar uh dollar the four dollar order was the one that wanted you to come up in the apartment building, come all the way up to the eighth floor. There's no elevator or anything like that. So they want you to get a little workout in for $4. Well, actually, uh, 25 cents because you got to put $3.70 in your gas. So, yeah. so for 25 cents, they wanted you to go all the way up to the eighth floor to deliver it. Uh, right now it's the pandemic, so it's it's contactless delivery, right? With you guys? Yeah, it is contact. Um, it is contactless, but that kind of like you know, I see the point where like, okay, you can still left it in front of my door. Uh, no, 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 I'm I, no, no, not not for no four dollars. I can understand. No, I I call. <laughs> uh, absolutely yeah. not. I wouldn't do that for four dollars. That's why I left it downstairs. I can understand ten. You know, ten maybe. Four, nah, because four dollars, you could have, you know, you, you probably could have called your son, mother, grandmother, father, husband. You you, you could have called somebody along the way and be like, hey, can you uh, pick up, you know, four dollars worth of such as that's like, I don't know, four dollars, man. That's that sounds like a big waste of, of you guys time for that. But I again, like I said, I understood why you did it because you know it was in the same area. You didn't have to go far to make that particular pickup, and plus you already had a seven dollar order on deck. So you know that you know the more orders you get, the more it adds up. And I guess it's all about the end game as far as uh, as far as uh, what you guys go. I mean, what you guys do. So on average, um, how many? How many orders do you do you normally do in a day? Um, so on average, I'll do like about um like fifteen to sixteen orders, um, okay. and that would probably average out to almost like a hundred bucks, a hundred and ten dollars on average. Okay. Okay, okay. Which is not, which is, it's not bad, you know what I mean? And this is just flat rate. So, like, whatever that they're paying is what they're paying. So, say, like, the $4 was just $4. There was no tip on top of that. Uh, like, really? where people get confused, people, yeah, it was and just they, four, they, and, $4. And, they did not tip me. And he wanted, no. it, or they, because we're not sure if it was a male or female, could have been, but they wanted you to walk or come all the way upstairs on the eighth floor for a flat rate of $4. And then no, exactly. no, no, no tip on top of that. That's why, yeah, that's why I didn't do it. And they were people were, you know, are you with me? Like, oh, they were gonna give you cash tip. 
hello, it's a contactless delivery. So how are they going to give me my cash tip? And then they were like, then there's, oh, the cash on the tip comes after you deliver it. I'm like, bro, I've been doing door cash delivery for so long. They tip you automatically while your base rate is going. Yeah, they, they're, they're, you know, I, I, I ordered DoorDash plenty of times and there's, you know, there's a, there's a spot on there so you can add the tip, you know, like $3, $4, or it gives you the opportunity to customize it for whatever the amount you want to, you, you want to order. Um, so, so you says it's flat rate. So they, they don't give you nothing on top of the, like miles or anything like that i mean say for it, it, it what was the farthest that you had to go for a doordash order um the farthest i had to go for a doordash order was about close to 20 minutes and that order was for ten dollars <sighs> and my thing was i got a i had yeah like i was, I, t- I have a story for days i'm telling you so what they ordered, they ordered, um, they had ordered Wendy's, okay. but they ordered it from the town, like before, I don't know why they didn't order in their town, but they ordered it from the town, like two towns out from them. Wow. I don't know. Sometimes, some, like sometimes they kind of like, they can get confused, which I completely get, you know, you enter in Wendy's and you know, you just click on it and you're right. not knowing what Wendy's it is. You're automatically thinking that's going by your location. Right. Cause that's sometimes what it does. It goes by your location or whatever one's in your area, but they probably clicked whatever Wendy's that weren't in their area. So I gave them the better for the doubt. I was like, whatever. And honestly, like I like seeing new scenery, mm-hmm. so I didn't really mind it. So it is what it is for that. All right. But I said that, you know, they were dumb for that. But All hey, right. it so, is. <laughs> you, so 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 what with this door dashing, you just mentioned that that you've been doing it for quite a while. So uh, you you've been doing it since the since the beginning. So I've been doing it off and on. Um, I didn't do it during COVID, even though that I was so dumb for not doing it because it was such a high demand yeah. during like, um, during 2020. And I know I could have made a lot more money, Yeah. but you know, I kind of waited until after everything calmed down. That's when I started doing it. Okay. Okay. So basically you just doing this for money on the side or whatever the case. So do you have a, do, do you have a full-time job or, or are you a college student or what, what are you? Yeah, I do have a full time job. Okay, okay. So this is just this is just something uh, when you get off of work or something like that, you hit up hit up a couple of hit up a couple of things for some drink money or something like that, right? Yeah, pampers to buy my pampers to buy my wafers, quick cash. So like, say if I need a you know a couple bucks and I rent and I'm low on pampers, you know I can just do a couple drives and then cash out the same day and money goes into my account the same like within the like. 15 minutes of cashing out mm-hmm. and hey there goes my money i can go buy my pampers go buy my wipes go buy like the little necessity things that i need you know that i had ran out on you know oh, okay so you saying pampers so you so you got a newborn or how old is your kid oh he just oh you just broke out for a second what'd you say oh hold on that might be hello me. yeah 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 that might oh. okay that that might have been me all right, how how old is your kid? He's two years. He's turning two years old. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boy or oh, you just said he. I was about to say boy or girl. God damn. Yeah, kid. I got two. I I have a I have three kids in total. Oh, okay. I have two boys and one girl. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So uh, basically, doing you know doing DoorDash and working full time for the kids, right? Yeah, you know my son's fourteen years old, so you know he kind of. He, you know, his shoe size is not cheap. You know, back to school just started and, right. you know, I get paid bi-weekly. And, you know, obviously I put money aside, you know, for his school clothes. But, you know, his shoe, his shoe size is a nine and a half. So his Jordans are costing me almost 200 plus dollars. <laughs> nah, you better so, stop. You, you better stop getting that kid them Jordans. You better go. Better, better go to Walmart and and, and and let teaching them teach them how to teach them what a dollar is. 
I'm just saying. Nah, no, you, he, you can, no, he knows. He nah, knows can, what it is. He knows what it is. But nah, you, you, know? you, you can you can spoil your, your kids. That's 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 what moms do. They they spoil their kids. So uh, you know it's kind of cool that you know you 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 doing that for your kids and everything. All right. So uh, the TikTok video. Uh, speaking of TikTok, uh, how how long how how long you been uh, how long you been doing TikTok and and why did you start it uh, start it TikTok. Okay, so I've been doing TikTok for almost a year. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I like, well, yeah, for almost a year, but I didn't really start taking it serious until about, like, five and a half months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason why I have TikTok is because I'm a comedian, mm-hmm. and, you know, I do my little skits. You know, my everyday life is just so funny, and I, you know, I just get lucky, and I catch everything on video, um, and my main platform was Facebook right. and I, a lot of my videos had gone viral on Facebook. You know, I have a good follow system on Facebook, you know, I got a good support system and, you know, I just wanted something different. So, you know, everybody's like, Oh, once you do Instagram or once you do this, once you do that. Right. Um, I, I'm not really a big fan of Instagram. So not I was too, just not, like, okay, let not, me just, not, not too many people is, uh, what do you, yeah. what, what's your thoughts? What's, now I I could say you know you you coming on YouTube and because you know I'm a YouTuber and everything but you know I'm not a fan of YouTube hashtag fuck YouTube but uh but why didn't you why why didn't you uh why didn't you do a YouTube page before you started TikTok? Well, I do have a YouTube page and like you know in the beginning obviously everything's a process um you know it takes a bit before you know you get yeah, subscribers exactly. you know you do this yeah. and it's just a it's a lot of promoting to do in order to get those subscribers yep, yep, um exactly. and then like that's why i had made my tiktok and i noticed you know my followers were coming in even though i wasn't taking it serious until five and a half months ago but once i started taking it really serious you know, I noticed my followers going up. My followers was going up, and honestly, like it almost reminds me of Vine. And I used to love Vine. Mm-hmm. That's you know what? Vine. That's how. That's you know what? I I wasn't a fan of Vine back in the day. I I wish I was. You know, I wish I was. I could have took it. I could have took advantage of Vine. But with TikTok, same thing with TikTok. I I wasn't serious with it. You know, when I started, uh, maybe the end of last year something like that my son kind of like yo do you have do you have a tiktok dad i was like no nah, what the fuck is tiktok you know he was like yo it's this new video platform it's like instagram but you know it, it's better than instagram yada 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 i was like well you know i fucks with instagram <laughs> you know what i'm saying I, I mess with instagram but i started you know doing my research and started looking at tiktok videos and i'm over here like oh man this ain't I said, this ain't for me, bro. <laughs> you know, I was like, this ain't for me. But then uh, I'd say maybe like mm, early this year, say like February, I put up a video, you know, just, I, I, I threw up another video. And then all of a sudden I seen an, an, an influx of views on it. And then I started doing my research more. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, YouTube is doing the same thing. And then I started putting two and two together. Like, nah, people attention spans is like real low. And they they want this quick flick, you know, flick to the next video, watch it for a couple of minutes, flick to the next video, watch it for a couple of minutes. And I was like, okay, when they started, when my video started taking off, I was like, okay, then I'll go ahead and start doing that. Then later on, I started noticing a whole bunch of truck drivers uh, that was on YouTube are converting over to over to TikTok because they're tired of trying to, you know, gain subscribers, trying to fit in with YouTube's rule of community guidelines and stuff like that, because we can't even play music on YouTube as we can do on TikTok. You know, so with that, it, you know, it, I, I just use it as a cross promotion. All right. So the video, <laughs> I I did I did a reaction. It's it's not out yet, but I did a reaction and used and and 
you, what you know what I, I'll let you take take over from here. I, I'll let you tell the story <laughs> of what happened. <laughs> Oh my God. So it was just a normal day of me door dashing. Um, I had a delivery. I went to go bring it upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, they, they lived on the second floor. So, you know, I was bringing it upstairs and I, I already seen it looked at like a whole trap house from the outside. Now, you whole know what? Now, let me, let me, let me freeze you right there because <laughs> that, that going through that back door up to that upstairs was fucking nasty. It, it was, it was. It was horrible. I mean, it was got like garbage on the floor. The door that you knocked on was was all grime. I I, I wouldn't even knocked on the door. I mean, you know, it was. I'm I'm surprised it wasn't. It was, did it stink? It had to stink going up there. No, it on honestly, it didn't. Like it did, like so like when I watched the video, it looked it more dirtier. Like in video than in person, it's as weird as that sounds. It didn't stink. It was just like you know, they did have you know their trash off to the side or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the staircase it was just just dirt. You know what I mean? Like dirt that just been there that had built up after some time. But honestly, it didn't stink. I can sit there and vouch for that. It didn't stink. Cause if it did, I would have made my way right back downstairs. Uh, it, it, I don't know, man. You you right. You know that the video made it like uh uh. I I was cool. So knocking on the door. All right. So I had knocked on the door, you know, um, and it was just weird because you know they didn't open the door all the way. Right. <laughs> the guy stuck his hand out the door. Right. Like he stuck his hand out like on some like creepy stuff like. Like some All right, shit that if you, you want see on, on a horror movie or some shit like that. Yeah, like if you wanted me to, like, if you wanted to contact us, I could have, you know, I could have put it in front of your door. But, like, you know, he reached out, grabbed the bag, and was, like, kind of struggling to get the bag into the door mm -hmm. until he kind of popped it open a little bit and he got the bag in. I was like, okay, weirdo. And I had to get it on video. Like, I had to record it because it was just, like, all right, right. weird. So I'm coming downstairs and like, I can hear the guy like before, like I walked all the way downstairs. Like I'm talking to, I'm like saying to myself, I can hear him. I didn't really hear what he was saying. He was just kind of like muffling, like, like grunting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming down the stairs and I'll, I heard the door swing open. Right. I'm like, okay. And I'm looking up and all I hear is, this is not my order. This is not what I ordered. And I'm looking, I turned around, and then next thing you know, I see a whole brown big wine bag getting flung from the top of the second floor stairs into, on, your into face. my face. That's <laughs> shit crazy. <laughs> into my face, and I'm just like, I just, like, I wasn't sure. Like, I thought he was just kind of dangling the bag over, like, this is not my order. Right. No, I heard the crumbling of the bag. You know, I seen this big old bag that's coming towards my face, and I'm just like, I'm standing ground. I, you know, I'm holding my phone in my hand, right. and I'm holding on to the railing. Like I grabbed the railing because, you know, as hard as I got hit by that bag, I could have fell down the last couple of stairs. Well, it was it, it was the bread, wasn't it? Because he he said it was. The, yep. It's, he said in the video, like, uh, this, I, you know, this I, is not what he this, ordered. This is not my order or whatever. And then you turned around and you tried to. You was trying to explain to him like, "Yo, this this is what this was what was on the app," and then next thing you know, bread comes flying into your face, and and he <laughs> said something else like, "Yo, this this ain't uh this is uh, this ain't yeah, bread. This is I not my order. order. I, I didn't yeah. order bread or some shit like that, man." Yeah, he's like, "I didn't order bread. This is not my order. You grabbed the wrong order." And I told, and I was like trying to explain to him like this is what you ordered this was on the app this is not a mistake you know so was and like that, big y so was that like a, big y are so was mm -hmm. that so was that a restaurant order or a grocery order it's a it was a grocery order okay oh okay 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 so what uh bread bologna what, what was all in? No, it was just it was just strictly bread. It was hamburger bread and hot dog bread. What? It was just nothing but bread inside the bag. Oh my god! Now, if you want to know what kind of bread, it was Wonder Bread. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And this this dude, 
You know, and then his dog comes down the stairs, and I'm yeah, like, oh, this is, a, this is a big-ass dog. I'm I, like, yo, you better keep your dog upstairs. Right. I, I noticed <laughs> that, that, he, that he let his dog come downstairs. What... What what was because your video went out at that point? Um, what what happened with with the dog? Did he come in and get his dog back? Did he call his dog or what? What the fuck, so man? What, I um so what I ended up doing was um I was back because I was already halfway. I was like a couple steps before the door. Right. So when I noticed the dog was coming down the stairs, I was already backing up. Right. Because I'm like, let me get down onto flat ground because I'm about to kick this fucking dog in the fucking neck. Okay. Like, I got a big dog, so how I take care of my, like, if my dog was to ever attack me, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to kick my dog. Like, I'm, I don't care. I'm going to kick my dog with all my force, you know what I mean? If my dog tries to really attack me. So, right. you know, when it comes to, you know, bigger dogs, and it was a Rottweiler on top of that. So I'm just like, you know, and they're very vicious dogs. So, you know, I don't want to sit there and take a right move or, the, you know, I don't want to sit there, approach it. So, like, the best thing I was going to do, I had backed up, got back onto flat ground, and I closed the door. And okay. you could still hear the guy screaming from upstairs. Okay. That's why when I did my when I did my other video, it, flipped, it swapped over when I had called the cops. Right. Um, so... When the you, reason why I call the cop. Well, yeah, go ahead. Hold, hold, Sorry. Hold on before we get to the cop part. <laughs> um, so you, so he's, so he's still upstairs moaning about moaning about the bread or whatever. And when you initially came up there and and opened up the door, you know, in the video we heard kids wailing and all like that. So what was your what was your thinking about the about the kids and everything you, why, why do you think they was crying or whatever um honestly i i typically don't stereotype any situation because of like the condition of the building mm -hmm. you never know like you can like your whole building could be a whole trap house on the outside but completely nice in the inside you know what i mean maybe you have um shitty landlords that you know don't like to keep up with conditions and don't like to throw anything away from you you know what i mean right. so like i try not to stereotype a situation because sometimes when i leave my house to go downstairs my kid is screaming to the top of his lungs because you know i went to the door once i go to the door my kid starts le screaming because you know my kid thinks i'm leaving oh, so okay. like i try not i give people the benefit of the doubt so like honestly people are sitting there saying on my comments you should call the um, cps on them or this or that. Look at the, the conditions. Oh, he threw a bag of bread at you. You can only imagine what he does to his...